Today we'll discover the main differences between Sharm el Sheikh and Urgada. Let's get ready to rumble! Sharm el Sheikh and Urgada are both very close and very far at the same time. They are both parts of Egypt on the Red Sea, but Sharm is on the southern tip of the Sinai Peninsula, while Urgada is 100 kilometers across the sea on the eastern coastline of Egypt. So if you want to go from one city to the other by ferry, by sea, it's going to take you around two hours and a half. But if for any reason you want to do it by car instead of two hours, it's going to take you around 8-10 hours and you'll have to drive for 800 kilometers. And that's because the Sharm and Urgada are not on the same coastline, they're opposite. Urgada is on continental Egypt, if you allow me. You see it yourself how close we are to Luxor, Aswan, Cairo, while Sharm el Sheikh is far away from the hustle of the city life, a gem set in the azure waters of the Sinai Peninsula and the incredible deserts and rocky mountains. The underwater life. Okay, if you're a diver, if you love snorkeling, Sharm el Sheikh is a step above Urgada. If you want to explore the wonders of the sea, the clear winner is Sharm el Sheikh. The resort house reefs along the stretch of coastline are second to none. There are also numerous accessible wrecks here, including the famous Tisselgorm. In Urgada, you tend to have more sandy beaches than in Sharm el Sheikh. If you're a family and you want to relax on the chaise long while the kids are playing in the sand, Urgada is probably a better option. Of course, in Sharm el Sheikh as well, you have some hotels with sandy beaches, and this is a fantastic example. But generally speaking, in Sharm you have more corals, and it's a good habit to bring with you, put in your bag some of those sea shoes that can protect your feet if you're walking through some rocks and corals. The Red Sea has a range of resorts from budget to beachfront and lavish, gigantic properties that you'll never want to live. Incredible rooms, pools, spa, restaurant, tennis ground, water sport. While once it was true that the Charms Hotel were superior, recently many Hurghada's resorts have been renovated. In both cities you can find incredible resorts and it's really about uh, your needs and how much you want to spend. Egypt is a warm country and while there is no big difference between Sharm and Urgada's weather, you may find that uh, in the Sinai Peninsula it's a bit warmer, so if you consider traveling to the Red Sea in winter, you may opt for Sharm el Sheikh. Beware that other than the temperature, you have to take into consideration the wind. Coastal cities in Egypt can be pretty windy and that's why here you'll find some of the world's top destination for kite and windsurf. Anyway, before you leave you can check the weather and the wind forecast on one of the multiple dedicated websites i will let you know one in the comments overall there is no big difference in terms of temperature condition between sham and Urgadash. before we continue if this video is helping you please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me now let's talk a bit about the infrastructures about what the city has to offer. Both in Sharm and Urgada you'll have plenty of promenade where you can hang out after the sunset, the most famous being Nama Bay in Sharm el Sheikh and De Marina in Urgada. The same is true for restaurants, bars and nightclubs. If you're coming to the Red Sea you have plenty of chances and choices to enjoy your time out. Nonetheless, being a Hurghada bigger city than Sharm, as we have seen before, you may find here more options. While Sharm is this gigantic town built in the desert whose whole economy gravitates around tourism, Hurghada is an actual city and here you can experience not only the touristic places, how the locals live, the fish market, the big souks and the bazaar, 
Dahar. Watch the Urgada walk through in the channel to know more about the old town, El Dahar, an area where most of locals live and it's an eye-opening look into the real city. And from Urgata you can drive 20 minutes uh, to Elgona, where you'll find incredible dandy posh uh, restaurants and bars. And given the fact that you have this uh, locals economy, it turns out that Urgada is cheaper because you can go to the shops where the locals go. Convenience stores, excursions and souvenirs are cheaper in Urgada. Ninety-five percent of the excursion that you can do from Urgada, you can do from Sharm el-Sheikh. Let's say you come in here and you want to go to visit the pyramids, you can both do it from Sharm and from Urgada. But Urgada being closer to the rest of Egypt is gonna be cheaper. From Urgada to go to Luxor, it takes uh, three ho four hours and three hundred kilometers. While from Sharm el-Sheikh to Luxor, it takes about seven hours and four hundred kilometers. And hold on. This uh, GPS now is considering that you cross the sea with a ferry. You do have certain advantages in charm when we're talking excursions. For example, Israel, 200 kilometers, three hours drive, and you get to Eilat. Same thing if you want to travel to Mount Sinai. It's going to take you two hours from Sharm el Sheikh. It's going to be much longer from Urgada. By now, you may be tempted to jump to the conclusion that Urgada is better than Sharm. Urgada is a big city, has got more to offer, it's cheaper, excursions are much easier. But Sharm el Sheikh has got something that Urgada doesn't have. The X Factor. You see, there is something in Sharm and in the whole Sinai Peninsula, for the matter, that is unique. I cannot measure it, I cannot describe it, but those who have been here know it. The colors at sunset, the skyline, there is a magic in this land. The Sinai Peninsula is the cradle of the religions of the world, the civilizations. There is something here that is unique and you don't get it in Urgada. To conclude, both Sharm el Sheikh and Durgada are quite breathtaking in their ways, offering unique experiences that last a lifetime. But everyone has got their own preferences when it comes to travel. Therefore, take into consideration the factors we talked about in this video, find out what is right for you, and I'm sure you're gonna have an unforgettable experience in Egypt. Thanks for watching until the end. Please leave a like and subscribe, it means a lot. If you wanna travel Egypt, watch all the video in the channel. They're gonna help you a lot. Thank you again, I'll see you on the next one.